this video we are going to work on the recurrence relation now before moving to the definition let's break this word into two parts one is a recurrence another is a relation so relation defined hota hai between two things and reoccurrence means something is reoccurring in a particular pattern so jab bhi hum kisi cheez ko recall karte hain and that is in a pattern form that is called as a reoccurrence so when you club this one means a particular pattern hai जिसको हम रिकॉल कर रहे हैं दैट इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ अ रिलेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ रेकरेंस रिलेशन नाउ बिफोर मूविंग टू द डेफिनेशन लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल सपोज वी हैव द सीक्वेंस ए एन दैट इज 1 2 4 8 16 32 2 एंड सो ऑन एज पर द सीक्वेंस आपको एक पैटर्न ऑब्जर्व होगा दैट इज फर्स्ट थिंग इज 1 सेकंड इज 2 नेक्स्ट इज बेसिकली 2 स्क्वायर इट्स नेक्स्ट इज 2 क्यू इट्स नेक्स्ट इज 2 रेज टू पावर 4 एंड सो ऑन so it means the sequence is of the form 2 raised to power n obviously n is greater than or equal to 0 because it is 2 raised to power 0 so we can write the sequence is equal to 2 raised to power n ab aapke paas ek aur pattern milega in terms of sequence element means agar aap 32 aur 16 ke beech mein relation dhoondoge this is the double of this one so even 8 ka double that is 16 4 ka double that is 8 2 ka double that is 4 and 1 ka double 2 so ek to particular term mili hai that is 2 raised to power n form aur second hame elements ke beech mein ek relation mila hai wo repeat ho raha hai so we can write an is equal to 2 times of an minus 1 an kya hai nth term of the sequence wo kaise predict ho rahi hai that is a double of its previous term that is n minus 1 This is kind of a relation between sequence element. The next term a n is predicted with the help of previous term, and it is kind of a relation. So that's why we are calling it as a recurrence relation. So this relation, we recall it again and again. We can find the sequence with starting index a not is equal to one. Because if we have the first element, he didn't know the sequence. Ka, we cannot generate the entire sequence so this is called as initial condition now we can move towards the definition of a recurrence relation the definition of a recurrence relation is it is a relation of the sequence an which is an equation like here we are getting an equation where we can find the value of an in terms of one or more of previous terms of the sequence previous terms of the sequence means maybe a not maybe a1 maybe a2 up to an minus 1 hum an term ko calculate kar sakte hain previous terms ki help se in particular pattern form that is called as a recurrence relation and most important in this case is we need to take the non negative integer as the index Like in this case, we have written a n. So a n starting index, our non-negative integer will be. Non-negative integer means it starts from one, then two, three, four, and so on. So it is never be a a of minus one. That is incorrect. So sequence generally starts from zero, one, then two, three, and so on. Now suppose we have a sequence that satisfies the recurrence relation of this form. Means, आपके जो sequence के element है, वो इस pattern को follow करते हैं. Suppose it is given to you a not is equal to three and a one is equal to five. It means starting के हमें दो conditions given हैं. We need to find what is the value of a two and a three with the help of this recurrence relation. How to find that? Simply observe this recurrence relation. This is a n is equal to a n minus one minus a n minus two. We need to find the value of a two. Means the value of n is equal to two here. Put n is equal to two. We have a two is equal to this is a of two minus one is one minus two minus two is a zero. Now what is the value of a one? That is is equal to five. Minus a not is three, so the value of a two is two. 
similarly evaluate the value of a3 that is n is equal to 3 in this case so we will put n is equal to 3 here this is, is equal to a of 2 minus a of 1 a of 2 is equal to 2 minus a1 is 5 that is, is equal to minus 3 according to this starting element kya hai sequence ka 3 then term is 5 next term is 2 its next term is minus 3 and it follows this pattern means subtraction of last two one we are getting this answer now subtract these two one minus 3 minus 2 next term is minus 5 so this is how we can generate a sequence from the recurrence relation also from sequence we can find the recurrence relation suppose we have a famous sequence that is a Fibonacci sequence as 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 and so on now this sequence is following a pattern follow kar rahi hai. as you observe this 8 is calculated as sum of previous 2 1 3 and 5 even 13 is calculated as 5 plus 8 here 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, we are getting a particular pattern. So, we can say that the nth term of this sequence is calculated by fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. Means its previous term, its previous kya aegi? This is n minus 1 plus its previous, its previous is n minus 2. But we need to think, can we find 0 and 1 from this recurrence relation? No. Why? Because it is a f of 1. For f1, we need two values. That is f0 plus its previous 1. A previous me to negative 1 hota nahi hai. So it means we cannot evaluate f0 and f1 from here. Or we can say that ye recurrence relation is sequence ko generate karega agar hamare paas starting ki two conditions hongi that is f0 is equal to 0 and f1 is equal to 1 also you can think a particular term of this sequence is calculated with the help of two sequence terms it means we need minimum two conditions to yahan pe humne wo minimum conditions kya liye starting ki two condition that is f0 and f1 and in this case n is greater than or equal to 2 because hum f2 se start kar sakte hai, not from f1 and f0 also you can write from the lowest index lowest index is n minus 2 so it should be greater than or equal to 0 so from here you will get the condition that n is greater than or equal to 2 next we have the solution of a recurrence relation now, if you have any equation hai, like x square is equal to 4, it means it has a solution that is x is equal to 2 and minus 2. Means x is equal to 2 and minus 2 will satisfy this equation. Similarly, recurrence relation is an equation. Hai, so, definitely it has a solution. Now, solution is format ka hota hai, that is a sequence is called a solution of a recurrence relation if the term satisfies the recurrence relation means solution of the recurrence relation is basically a sequence so if any sequence of recurrence relation ko satisfy karti hai, to definitely that is called as a solution so they all are interlinked on the basis of recurrence relation we can generate a sequence and if sequence has satisfied the recurrence relation that is called as a solution Let's look into the example how we can say that sequence is the solution of a recurrence relation. Suppose we have this recurrence relation. We need to check whether A or B or C sequence is a solution of this recurrence relation or not. How to do that? First we need to take An. So An is equal to 3n. So in this case as per the recurrence relation we need An minus 1. So what is the value of a n minus 1? Like when I say what is the value of a 2? Means we are substituting n is equal to 2 that is, is equal to 6. In this case we need n minus 1. So in place of n we will put n minus 1. And make sure here we need to put bracket because otherwise that will be the incorrect form. 
this is, is equal to 3 n minus 3. Now we need the value of a n minus 2. This is, is equal to 3 times of n minus 2. That is, is equal to 3 n minus 6. If the sequence is the solution of this recurrence relation, it means it will satisfy this one. Means both the sides are equal after substituting these values. Let's try it. So on the left side we have a n and the value of a n is equal to 3 n. This is, is equal to double of a n minus 1. Its value is 3 n minus 3 minus we have n minus 2 that is, is equal to 3 n minus 6. This is, is equal to 6 times of n minus 6 minus 3 n plus 6 because negative negative is positive. So this term is get cancelled with this one that is as equal to 3 n. On left side we have 3 n. On right side it is 3 n. This implies a n is equal to 3 n is the solution of this recurrence relation. So it means from here you will get the sequence that follows this type of a pattern. Let's check it for the case number b. For b case we have a n is equal to 2 raised to power n. What is the value of a n minus 1? That is as equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1. a n minus 2 is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 2. Plug these values in this recurrence relation. On left side we have 2 raised to power n. On right side double of a n minus 1 that is double of 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus this is 2 raised to power n minus 2. This is, is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 2 raised to power n minus 2. On left side we have 2 raised to power n. On right hand side what we have? It say that 2 raised to power n minus something. So it will never be equal to each other because its side is simply 2 raised to power n hai and on this side we are subtracting something from 2 raised to power n. And that can never be a same. So that's why we can say that clearly a n is equal to 2 raised to power n is not the solution. And even we can put here as not is equal to. Similarly, we can check for the C option. For C, it say that a n is equal to 5. And what is the value of a n minus 1 in this case? So it doesn't depend upon n. So we can simply write 5. And the value of a n minus 2 is 5. Substitute these values here. On the left side we have 5. On right side it is a double of a n minus 1. That is, is equal to 5. Minus a n minus 2. That is also 5. So that is, is equal to 10 minus 5. 5. So left side is equal to the right side. So we can say that a n is equal to 5 is the solution of recurrence relation. Now, there is a, another way to check whether that is a solution or a not. Or that way is more fruitful when we need to show that that is not the solution. How? Like in a B case, we have already observed that this is not the solution of recurrence relation. Now, we can directly predict kar sakte the by the help of sequence terms. So from here we can write a naught is equal to 2 raised to power 0 that is 1. a1 is equal to 2 raised to power 1 that is 2. a2 is equal to 2 raised to power 2 that is 4. a3 is equal to 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8. Let's check it. Kya yehi sequence aapko isi recurrence relation se mil rahi hai? So from here we can find the value of a2. How? That is, is equal to double of a1 minus a0 substitute n is equal to 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. The value of a1, hum sequence term se lenge, that is 2 minus a0 that is 1. This is, is equal to 3. As per this sequence, it say that the answer is 4. From here, we are getting 3. And both the values are not equal. So clearly, this is not the solution. Similarly, you guys can check for the A and C.